Hi, this is Tom Larson with Tech Training for Teachers. Today we're going to teach our viewing audience how to use Jamboard and Google Meet together as a way to enhance real-time collaboration and interaction with your virtual students. Let's get started. To begin, start a Google Meet session. We will go ahead and click the Meet link in Google Classroom. This is going to be the easiest way for us and our students to get where we need to be. After joining the Meet, wait for all your students to join as well. Once everyone is in, locate the dot menu in the lower right-hand corner of the screen. Click it, and from the menu, choose the top option labeled Whiteboard, Open a Jam. You have two choices. For now, we will start a new whiteboard, so let's click the option on the left. A window will pop up that states your students need access to the file. If you only want them to see the Jamboard, leave the access option to view. In our case, however, we want students to be able to contribute to the Jamboard simultaneously. So we will change to the edit option. Next, click the send label. Students will see a notification stating that you have shared the Jamboard with them. Teachers will see a new window containing the newly created Jamboard. If your students didn't immediately click on the pop-up notification on their screen, they can get to the Jamboard a couple different ways. Either by clicking the chat tab inside of Google Meet, or the Meeting Info area in the Attachments section. Once everyone is there, the real-time collaboration and engagement can begin. If you have a Jamboard already set up that you'd like to use with your students, no problem. Just like we did earlier, click the dot menu in the right-hand corner of the Meet and choose the Whiteboard option. Next, click Choose from Drive. Select the Jamboard you want to use and then click Open Jam. If you've not used this with your class before, you'll need to assign the right access permissions just like we did with the previous Jamboard. And like before, now with all the students working in the same whiteboard, we can work together in real time. Thanks for watching today's video tutorial. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me via email. If you like videos like this, be sure to subscribe and also click the notification icon so you know when new content is posted.